Lizards are the most closely related animal to humans that can regenerate cartilage and spinal cord and muscle and we share a lot of the same genes with them so we're interested in looking at the genes that are involved in that regenerative process so we could apply that to human therapies in the future. For people that don't have uh, any cartilage anymore, for war veterans that have lost big chunks of muscle uh, to regrow that muscle, uh, and also for spinal cord injury. For the first time, she was really looking at what kinds of genes are activated in regeneration, and this is the recipe you need to be able to regrow an organ or a, 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 something like a tail. But now we want to know how you control them, you know, how there are hundreds or if not thousands of genes affected, so really we want to understand what shapes that? Because there must be a few master switches that are turning things on and off. And RNA is the actual uh, message that is being sent from your genome to uh, tell it to act and do different things and respond to the environment or make new things happen. Given the pace of changes of technology in the 21st century, we're, I'm pretty confident that by the end of this century, we're going to be able to regrow almost anything you know, by changing the genes in, in a cell, changing the way they work. So by understanding uh, the genes that are turned off and on uh, in regeneration in lizards, uh, we could apply that to human therapies in the future.